Hi, this is question number five from the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. Uh, in this question we've got a particle of mass 12 kilograms that um, is moving along a straight horizontal line. At time t seconds the particle has speed v meters per second. As the particle moves it experiences a resistance force of magnitude 4v to the power of a third. Um, newtons. No other horizontal force acts on the particle. The initial speed of the particle is 8 meters per second. We need to first of all show that V is equal to this here. Now um, we need to set up a differential equation for this. So for part A we know that um, our force is going to be equal to mass times acceleration so our force is given to us as a function of velocity um, so I can say that my force and because um, we need to be careful actually because it's a resistance force um, this is going to be negative so I'm going to say that's going to be negative 4 V to the power of a third and that's going to be equal to and it's going to be mass which is 12 times acceleration um, which is going to be um, the rate of change of velocity or dv by dt okay so um, now I'm going to divide through by negative 4 um, so that's going to say that V to the power of a third is going to be equal to and that's going to be minus 3 dV by dt. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to separate the variables. So I'm going to um, bring my dt over to this side over here. Um, and I'm going to bring my v to the power of a third um, I'm going to bring that over to this side over here so over here I'm just going to have dt and if I divide by v to the power of a third that's going to be the same as times in by v to the power of a negative a third so I'm going to have this negative 3 here times by v to the power of negative a third dv and we can integrate both of these so integrating this side over here well that's just going to be t so over here I'm just going to have t I will have an arbitrary constant that I need to add on but I'll add it onto this side over here um, at the end okay so um, now integrating this side well I'm going to have negative 3 times by the integral of v to the power of negative a third well if I add 1 to the power that's going to become 2 thirds so I'm going to have 3 over 2 times by v to the power of 2 thirds plus c ok so that means t is going to be equal to minus 9 over 2 times v to the power of 2 thirds plus c. Now we're trying to show this over here um, and we've still got this arbitrary constant c so if we have a look we've been told that the initial speed of the particle is 8 meters per second so that means when t is equal to 0 v is equal to 8 so we'll write that down when t is equal to 0 v is equal to 8 so um, so that means that 0 I can work out c by saying 0 is equal to minus 9 over 2 times by 
um, 8 to the power of 2 thirds. Well, 8 to the power of 1 third is 2, so 8 to the power of 2 thirds is going to be 2 squared, which is 4. Um, so that's going to be times by 4 plus c. Um, so that tells me that c is going to be equal to 18. I'll come over here and we'll say that c is equal to 18. Okay, so um, I can now write this equation as t is equal to minus 9 over 2 v to the power of 2 thirds plus 18. And I need to rearrange it to make v the subject. So I'm going to have, um, I'll take away 18 from both sides, t take away 18 is equal to minus 9 over 2 v to the 2 thirds. I can um, double both sides and then divide by negative 9. So that's going to be 2t over negative 9. Um, take away and that's going to be 36 over negative 9 which is going to be plus 4 is equal to v to the power of 2 thirds and then I could take both sides to the power of 3 over 2 so that means that v is going to be equal to and I'll write that in a different order so 4 take away 2t over 9 to the power of 3 over 2 um, which is what we're looking for over here. Okay, so uh, moving on, for part um, B, we are being asked uh, to find the value of T when the particle comes to rest. So when the particle comes to rest is when V is going to be equal to zero. So I can write down that zero is going to be equal to 4 take away 2t over 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So in order for this to be true, this bit here would need to be equal to 0, or 4 would be equal to 2t over 9. And that means that 2t is equal to 36, which means t is going to be equal to 18 seconds. And um, there you go. So that tells us the value of t when the particle comes to rest. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.